Hi, welcome to this launch event for Etela Pokemon Wise Aru. Now, as you can see from our website, we say in English we say wise. If you're speaking Finnish, you can say vise. We don't mind. We answer to anything. Um, thanks for watching this recording of this uh, open meeting. Uh, we're going to cover a few different things today. I'm just going to read from my script. Firstly, I'm going to talk a little bit about how did this idea start and why did we decide to form an Udistus. Um, then I'm going to pass over to Berti Ginnanen from Kalpakamari, who's going to talk a little bit about why a company or an organization should consider joining WISE. Um, Paul Fairchild is going to talk about the work that we've done so far. Giuliano Prisada is going to then talk about what we aim to do next year and in coming years. Uh, I'm then going to announce the winner of the WISE logo competition and hopefully share the screen with you so that you can all see it there. Um, and also talk a little bit about where you can find WISE online. Spoiler alert, it's up there. So, first of all, how did this all start? The, the origins of WISE. A couple of years ago now, Giuliano was managing uh, a hunke, a, a project uh, about the promotion of immigrant entrepreneurship. And he asked me to do a little bit of work in that. And I worked with him on a, on a survey. And, and many of the people listening and, and watching this will have taken part in that survey, giving their opinions on um, what, what the challenges were to become an entrepreneur here in Etela um, and and what help they needed. We have people arriving all the time. <laughs> um, at the end of the, so I, I did some work on this uh, survey and at the end of it, I at the hunky, I spoke to Giuliano and said, you know, it's quite clear where people need help and the problems that they're encountering. So what's next? You know, who does something about this? And Giuliano looked at me and just said, maybe we do. And that was one and a half years ago now. And that was really the kind of the genesis of what has now become Etela Man. Wise Aru. And we've worked on this idea for the last year and a half. And we, we had an idea for a, a business. Um, and we had different ways that we thought we could make this into a business. But the, the mo one of the more, most important things we wanted to be able to do was to work with potential new entrepreneurs in the ethos of what Giuliano was trying to do a couple of years back. And we couldn't work out within a, a, pub, a private company how that could be a business. A, a new uh, entrepreneur doesn't have a business yet, so they can't pay us to work with them. And another company isn't going to pay us to help someone else start their own business. So we decided that maybe a membership association was the way to go. And that's what Udistus is. And that's why we have a room full of people here. We have twice as many people joining on the video link because this is a membership association. And that means that we, we, we intend to bring money in to the association to allow us to work with people that when they're starting their new, their new business. It's not the only thing that we'll do, as you'll hear from Paul and Giuliano uh, a little bit later but it is one of the the important things that we want to do and also we want to um, get individuals living in Etela Pokemon to network with uh, companies and associations um, organizations and also with each other and maybe maybe like make friends out of this if some people join wise come networking and make friends that's a win as well so, um, the first thing I'm going to tell you, oh, I'm going to tell you this for the first time and not the last time during this meeting, um, how you can become a member. The easiest way, go to our website. You can see the address up there. It's wisepistepi, 
find the page called become a member and there will be a, a web shop functionality it's not working yet but there will be a web shop but there is details on there where you can make a, a simple bank payment to become a member of wise if you're joining as an individual it's 25 euros for a year if you join now you get a year and two months because it runs all the way through to the end of 2021 um, and if you want to join as a company then it's 100 euros again for for a year from now until the end of 2021 but maybe i should stop talking and hand over to perti kinnunen from etela pohjanmaan kaupukamari the south ostrobotnia chamber of commerce and uh, He'll, he'll talk about why organizations should consider becoming a member of WISE. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, Mark. And hello, everybody here and also there. there. Uh, <laughs> it's always difficult to tell. Well, the camera is over there. So uh, as Mark said, I'm from the Chamber of Commerce, our regional chamber, and uh, we were one of the, the first organizations to join uh, WISE or WISE. And why? Uh, when Paul, uh, Mark and then Giuliano came and talked about this idea, I thought this is something we definitely have to be with uh, in and, and as the members from the very, very beginning. And uh, why? Because, of course, uh, Chamber of Commerce are mostly for the business, business development of the region and, and uh, supporting our businesses in their businesses, etc., etc. Et but also the overall development of the region. I think uh, it demands an organization or association like this. Uh, it comes from the very experienced people who actually have been uh, immigrants. They have uh, come to Finland and uh, they have adapted. They have found their way of uh, working or business here. And they are the specialists on the grassroots level, so to say. So it's very uh, easy to join uh, and uh, and we have challenges in South Ostrobotnia and Seinäjoki and the region. Uh, we are the least uh, international region in Finland. And it's a shame and, and we should do something about it. And uh, I think we are on a good way to improve things. We need new people, new ideas, new knowledge. And I hope our companies also, most of them, or some, uh, at least some of them have already realized that they are working very well with uh, with the immigrants and, and uh, recruiting immigrants new skills etc but there's still lots of work to do we need to also go to the smaller companies and get them also to do their share etc etc uh, i think it's a very good idea that we have um, uh, two kinds of members we have uh, individual members and then then company or organizations which can support each other and uh, that it also guarantees that the association is very, um, how, how would I say, in Finnish, uh, money and in it. And, and it has lots of different opinions and, and, and uh, points of view, et cetera, et cetera, so we can discuss and we can network more efficiently on, in, in that way. So it should be also both useful and fun. And I think that's what, what we are able to do. I'm sorry that I can't uh, stay with you all evening today. I have very important issues to do because it's our weekly rehearsal. Of, uh, the Seinäjoki Ukulele Orchestra is, is training <laughs> in Seinäjoki Arena and I'm in charge of the uh, techni techniques. We do also use uh, teams. Some people are home playing and singing there and we are about 20 people in Seinäjoki Arena. B Hall, second floor. And tonight is a great night because we are uh, training uh, CCR. <laughs> Molina and uh, looking out my back door, etc. Et so you all understand that it's very important. <laughs> uh, we have been very sorry because all our gigs have been cancelled because of the corona, but maybe during the spring or so we will have some. Most likely also the library, you are all welcome to listen. And and you can also hire us, we are very cheap and we are very, very, very eager, eager to come. Eager to come. <laughs> so I think that's enough for my advice. Thanks a lot, Berti. I, I didn't realise it. I didn't realise it would be five minutes about wise and five minutes about Sadie of the ukulele orchestra. Right? That's, that's, hey, it's all business. <laughs> um, one, one thing I didn't mention is that once we, once we finish talking 
<laughs> at the camera. Um, we're going to, for the people here in the room, break off and do some speed networking. And for those that are in the video call, we're going to try and put you into groups so that you can at least meet each other there. Um, but if I manage to cut everybody off from the call, then, you know, don't sue me. Um, okay, maybe, Paul, oh, hand over to you now to give a bit of a rundown on the work that uh, WISE has done so far in 2020. Hello, everybody. So, yeah, my name is Paul Fairchild, and I'm one of the team. Uh, yes, 2020 has been an interesting year for, in so many ways. And for us, it's, it's been an especially interesting year to get our Udistus, our association, started. And we started off the, the year by thinking, what do we want to do? How do we want to do it? And talking to as many people as possible. Talking to our friends, talking to our immigrant network, talking to our Finnish friends, and talking to companies and associations and saying, we have this idea, what do you think? And the feedback was very positive. And we got lots and lots of good ideas from Carl Pukamori, from Into, and from lots of other organisations. And we made a decision in April that we would uh, start an association. And we were very happy that Etela uh, Pohjima, Kaupukamari and Into Senjoki decided to be with us right from the start to be founder members. Uh, so we put in our papers to start the association in May and we thought that um, pretty soon we'll have our association and, uh, and we can start working. And four months later we got our papers. We were a little bit surprised that it took so long but we were still active in the time while we were we were waiting to get established. Continuing that conversation, uh, contacting schools and contacting associations, talking to companies and saying, how do we do this? How do we make Edra a more international place? How do we get companies in touch with immigrants? How do we get Finns in touch with immigrants? How do we, how do we make this a more integrated uh, uh, place and that process is still going on and it's going to carry carry on hopefully for a number of years we won't be ready next year we'll be we'll keep getting ideas from different people about what we can do together some concrete things that we have done is um, in the spring we organized some integration assessments for CM students to talk about what they want to do in Finland, what they're studying, how they can learn Finnish, how they can integrate, find jobs, part-time jobs now and permanent work later on. And we've been talking with CM about how that how that cooperation will continue and we've got lots of good ideas from them and we're generating good ideas. We've had some seminars in Etela Pohima Opisto with uh, lots of uh, people from lots of different countries that are studying Finnish in, in Ilmajoki. It was a bit of a surprise to us just how big the uh, immigrant community is in Ilmajoki and that we have an awful lot of Turkish people in Ilmajoki. And we're working with uh, Etela Pohima Opisto to develop and help their integration process. We are also thinking about different, different projects that we can take part in and also possibly start. We've made some applications and some other concrete work that we've started with Into to, to help um, one or two uh, immigrants who have ideas to start their own companies to develop those ideas and build their network and find out the things that they need to know to start their businesses and with all Uritus Keskus to do the same sort of thing to help to help people start a business. 
What have I missed? I think you've missed nothing. That's very okay, good. <laughs> right. So that's that's what we've been doing up till now. And as I said before, this should be a continual process. Uh, we just had our Sue's Cockles and we voted in the uh, the board for next year. And we have seven members of the board next year. But the idea is that everybody who's a member of this association is active in this association. They're exchanging ideas. They're thinking about what this association can be. And in 2022, there should hopefully be some other faces on the board. And it should be a, a constant development. We're building bridges between companies and associations and individuals and making this an international and integrated place. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Paul. I was expecting a plug for his forthcoming political career, but we'll have to leave that for a, a, future, a future video, yeah. Um, and so, Juliana, Paul has given us uh, a, a taste of what we've done so far. Come and explain what we're planning to do in the coming year. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> well, I'm Juliana, and uh, I moved to Etela Pohyama 25 years ago. My plan was to be here three months. <laughs> so, you know, the plans change. And um, anyway, I decided when I came that even though I'm here only for three months, it's good to learn some Finnish and to make some contacts. And um, I think everyone should do these kind of things. Um, what we are going to do in this association? I want to point out a couple of things. This is not an immigrant association. The idea is not to have a place for foreigners living in Etela Pohyama, going in one room and, you know, discussing in their own language things. Instead, it's just to bring together both Finnish and foreigners. And as a matter of fact, at the moment, I think we have more Finnish members in the association than foreigners. And um, which means that so far we have succeeded in our, in our uh, goals. And the second thing is that probably too many times here we talk about jobs, we talk about entrepreneurship. It is not only this. We, the services that we provide to our members and to our other organizations cover all the aspects of integration because we want a foreigner to start a company here we want him or her to be happy to have the family here so it's easier to stay here in a smaller uh, you know municipality if he or she thinks that they have everything there, they have their own business or a workplace there, it's easier to stay here and not, you know, want to move to Tampere, Turku or Helsinki. And so, as Perti said, Etala Pohyama, South Ostrobotnia, is not a very international place. Quite many things have been done during the years and uh, many foreigners moved here I think at the moment there are about 4,000 foreigners living in Etela Pohyama. A lot of services have been developed and provided for, for <coughs> foreigners, but there is still a lot of things to be done. And it's not about what we are doing. Of course, it is important what we are doing, but as an association, it's probably equally important how we want to do the things. So we are ready to give some more value to the services. Uh, let's take, for example, we, we, we spoke many times in the, in the board and between us that if we get a message from somebody or from some organization that you can find information on that link, us as an association, we just don't forward it as such. We try to bring some value. We try to read the information and find in our network a person 
or on an organization who needs this service and try to kind of open it and, and say what is this about. And uh, we are ready to go if we have a person who wants to be a common entrepreneur. We sit down with him or her, go through the business plan and use our contacts. We call the people that we know and we put them in contact with the, with the potential entrepreneurs, for example, or the people they, they need help. So we are ready to use our network and we are happy to use our contacts and help others uh, in finding a job or starting a company or even developing the company because when you want to start a company there is a lot of help in the day when you started your company you are kind of alone so you need a network you need somebody to to support you so these are the kind of things we, we plan to do we organize trainings we help organizations and individuals and we also organize different events we want to bring the, the, the members together and and as paul mentioned to to network and we want to see this association also as a place where foreigners also can experience how it is to be a part of an association because finland is a you know the heaven of associations so you can find different types of associations so we are open to get members and we encourage members to be active and be members of the board so we can ensure that this association will have continuity and people can experience here different things different ideas so uh yeah this is what and how we plan to work in the future and uh yeah we uh, we need all the members and um, uh, uh, stakeholders support for that thank you for being a part of this event we are really positively surprised how many people joined today thank you very much thanks juliana um this is now for me to talk about the wise logo competition hopefully Many of you watching this saw the noise that we were trying to create about this. And this was the brief for the, the logo design competition. We want WISE to represent its members from the very beginning. So we want you to design a logo that represents the aims and values of WISE from your perspective. Entries can be submitted by creative people from Finland or from overseas. And you don't need to be a member of WISE to enter the competition. Your design can be submitted as professionally designed digital files or drawn by hand with crayons. We don't, we really don't mind. Um, we're going to get this converted into our final um, logo. And the keywords we gave were integration, work, networking, inclusive, and ecosystem. And we received, I think about seven, seven people, but many, many entries from those seven people and I'm gonna go down there and grab my laptop and share the screen and show you the winning logo we came up with. This was the final design that we chose. Um, it was designed by Salomo uh, Marta, uh, a student at Sayank here in Sayniyoki. And we had, we had some tough choices. There were probably a short list of two or three that, that had real potential. Um, but we felt that the the shaking hands really really got the the idea of making introductions to uh, to new people and, and broadening the network and um, we what the the top logo there will be the the kind of the basic version that we that we use everywhere um, but if we can get this concept to spread around Finland then who knows it may be in a couple of years time there'll be Wise Etela Pohyama and Wise Pohyama and Wise Pohyo Escariela, for example. Who, who knows? Um, 
we, we had discussions about whether to have these ellipses as part of the logo or not. Um, I, I requested a version with the ellipses because it can be quite useful to have the logo enclosed sometimes and also to, um, to be able to make a square, a square logo. Um, certain, sometimes having a square logo is, is quite useful for, for marketing purposes. And I'm gonna do that, there we go. Um, so one with and without the name and then the figures themselves. Um, just the just the people shaking hands that can be used as logos for um, you know websites and social media profiles and what have you. And then shaking hands will remember remind us of Corona. <laughs> yeah, Giuliano was concerned that we shouldn't have people shaking hands during Corona, but we decided that this is a a passing thing, and in future we will be back to shaking hands and. <laughs> And so we just got the same, the same designs in, in white on black. And as we keep scrolling through, in black on white. And you can order your t-shirt from... <laughs> we, don't, we don't yet have t-shirts made, but that may be something that we go to in the future. Who knows? Um, but Salomo, if you're watching, um, congratulations. Thank you. It was easy working with you the designs that came back after the consultation are just what we just what we wanted and uh, personally i'm really excited to get these on the website and get these over social media and, and feel like wise has really really started from there and if anybody wants an introduction to salomov because you like the look of his work then you know how to reach me and uh, let me know and i'll make the i'll make the introduction so where will we use this logo well I've pointed out a couple of times above my shoulder um, where you can find wise online um, wise pistep v is our website and then on the three social media that we've decided to start with you'll find us at airpair wise at EP wise so we have uh, a Facebook page which currently has 30 people following the page and that's the place where we will kind of share our content our stories and news and information um, and events like we did for this one today um, we also have a facebook group called wise people uh, we got 70 members of the wise people group at the moment and uh, if you want to join that group feel free that's where we kind of share more um, related uh, stories and events and things that are that are going on in Etelapokimma that we think might be useful to the to the members of that group. Um, we just started an Instagram account uh, because we felt that Instagram reaches not only older types like me, um, but also um, my kids' generation are also on Instagram. It's, it seems to be the the social network that reaches across those generations. Um, and we're on LinkedIn as well, so that we can have that, that business to business profile as well. And we have six people on Instagram and seven people on LinkedIn, but it can, but it can only grow. So please find us, follow us, keep, keep in touch with us. And uh, if after what you've heard today, you want to become a member, remember wise.fi, find the page called become a member and join and when the web shops open it'll be a little bit easier still uh, I think if you're in Finland anyway but those that are uh, overseas you know how to how to find us I think that's the end of the of the kind of us talking to you section of the uh, of the meeting um, thank you for coming to those of you that have, that have come here today in person. Thanks for joining on the, on the live stream. Um, find, us, find us online, keep in touch with us, and join, join us and help make this an association that, that serves you as a, as a foreigner moving to Etelapokhima, as a Finn returning to Etelapokhima, or just someone who wants to engage and get, get connected with, with that particular group of people as well. So. Um, I'm going to end the, end the recording now.
but I'm not going to end the meeting because I'm going to try and put you into groups and, uh, and to do this networking. Um, thanks again for listening. Bye-bye.